they relayed their experiences to George Knapp. He found that the UFOs were tied to the other paranormal activity taking place on the property. They start hearing heavy footsteps outside their bedroom window at night. Then they start seeing these dark humanoid shapes in the windows at night. Then they start hearing the footsteps inside the house. Then they wake up at night, and there's the thing at the bottom of their bed. But they would go out at night, they walk around, they start hearing disembodied voices in the sky above their heads. Speaking some strange language, almost like mocking them. They start seeing little orbs floating around, seemingly intelligently controlled, flitting around in the trees. Is it possible that reports of floating orbs, poltergeist activity, and the creature known as the skinwalker are not separate phenomena? Might they be better understood by considering them all together? Another story told to George Knapp by the Shermans may reveal yet another aspect to the Skinwalker Ranch mystery. The first day they're on the property, they see an animal of some sort over in the brush line, and it starts coming toward them. And then they realize that's a wolf. It's huge. The back of the wolf came up in the middle of his chest. They petted this thing. It was a real physical creature. Uh, now the calves are in the corral. They're all backed up against one side, scared of this wolf, except one calf makes the mistake of sticking his snout out between the bars of the corral. The wolf sees it, leaps in the air like 20 feet, chomps down on the head of this calf and is trying to drag it out of the corral. His son grabs a 357 out of the truck and brings it over. Dad pops a shot into this wolf. No yelp, no blood, no anything. Shoots it a second and third time. Now this is the fourth shot they put into this wolf. And then a fifth shot goes right into the chest. A chunk of flesh and fur comes popping off the side and falls on the ground. And this wolf just casually turns around and starts walking away. He's had enough. Five shots in this thing and didn't kill it. The Shermans say they pursued the wolf into the brush, following its tracks on the wet ground. They get to a clearing beyond the brush, a muddy area. The tracks go all the way out into the middle of the muddy field and stop. It's gone. It's as if it had been sucked up into the sky. Later, when the Shermans told this story to a group of scientists that had come to investigate the ranch, they were shown a series of photographs and asked if any of them resembled the animal they encountered. They have a lineup of different types of wolves to ask each of the family members, show us what this looked like. And the one that they all identified is what's known as a dire wolf. Dire wolf, of course, has been extinct for 10,000 years. If a dire wolf is, in fact, what the Shermans witnessed, could it present another clue as to what is happening at Skinwalker Ranch? Many ancient astronaut theorists believe the answer is simple. According to them, the ranch most likely contains some kind of interdimensional portal. One that would allow not only travel from one dimension to another, but to various points in time and space. They talked about the side of the mesa opening up and a spaceship flying in some sort of underground base. 